well for another session of tips and tricks. And in this session, we're going to quickly explore a feature that I find time and time again people aren't utilizing, which is called automated center lines. So I've got quite a basic style plate here with several holes in it. Now, I'd like to create a center line for each of the holes because it's good practice. I'd also like a bisector center line to go through this projected view and show the center lines as per hole in that view. So I'm utilizing Autodesk Inventor 2021, but for previous versions, what you can actually do is right click on the view itself and halfway down the context menu, we have an option for automated center lines. Anyone using the 2021 version of the software, you can also now find this on the annotate tab where the center marks are actually stored on this symbols panel. And we've now got this added functionality automated center line so it can be accessed from the ribbon. So I'm just going to select that. It's exactly the same as accessing it from my context menu. So what do we have inside this automated center lines command? If I hover over a few of the features, you can see there that it'll look for hole features, fillet features, cylindrical features, revolved features, the bends, and also punches. So you can actually automate the bend lines and the punch marks where you'd want to actually create a punch if it was a sheet metal component you was designing. We can also look at these projections. So looking at this projection, we're looking at it normally with regards to this specific front face that we can see of our plate and if I was to just leave the settings as default and hit OK you'll then see that all of the center lines have then been added. If I wanted to then add the bisector style center lines these here you can see up at the top center line bisector what I can again do is right click on the actual view select automated center lines this time I'm going to switch the projection to this view access parallel projection and just untick the one to the left of it. I'm then going to hit OK again, and you can then see that it's added in my bisector lines, saving me plenty of time throughout my drawing exercises.